Hello and welcome back. My name is Jeremy and today I think I'm going to do um, project number two. I think we've covered enough to kind of make your web page look some similar to this one right here. Um, it's not too hard. It didn't take me very long to type all this up. Now there is one thing I had to do is I had to change the doc type again. I know I guess it's going to be a little bit confusing but sometimes it, you just have to do it to produce what you want to do. Um, this goes with programming as well. Sometimes you're going to change certain things to get things to work the way you want it to work. So that being said, um, I'll show you the doc type. It's right here. Whoops, I guess I got, I got rid of way too much stuff. Sorry, let me. And basically what all this doc type does is just saying we're going to use a transitional format right here. So it's based on H XHTML number one and there's a bunch of other junk. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll get into it later. One thing I noticed I keep forgetting to do is put in a head in my videos. And I don't know why I'm forgetting. Actually, I think I do have it. I don't think I'll type anything in or change it anyways. So this is where we're going to change. We're going to give it a title of um, project number two. Okay, so here's project. Oh, my I type it right. Title two. All right, that looks good. All right, so now we have all this set up. Like I said, we're going to make our page look something like this right here. Um, these are not necessarily my favorite quotes. They're just some quick quotes I looked up real quick. <laughs> I thought they were pretty interesting. So first we're going to start off with our infamous H1. And just an H1 is just one of those nice things to kind of have on your page. It just kind of pops out and says, here I am. And we'll say hello and welcome. Okay. And the next, I think we need is an H2. This H2 is going to be our, um, your name. Uh, so we'll say, my name is Jeremy. That's good enough. And we'll have an H3. All right, and our H3 is gonna say some of, oops, of my fave, come lazy. Quotes. All right. Okay, you know, this is where we're going to try to incorporate all the stuff that we have done so far. So we've done our we've got H1s, H2s, H3s. Um, we're going to um, do a black quote. So black, black quote. I'm going to copy this. Copy and paste. I think we had how many? We have three. So let's just space, oops, paste. Oh crap. I thought I highlighted it all. So copy, paste, and paste. That's fine. So let's just make up something to be or not to be. Okay. Now I'm putting quotes around it just to kind of make it stand out just a little bit more. I think it can stand out a whole lot, but at least it might catch your eyes. And then I'm just going to copy this one. He said, you can look up any quote you want. You can use my quotes. It, it doesn't matter. And control copy this one. So far, it's looking all right. Let's, um, let's see. Let's save the page. Let's go here. Let's refresh it. Okay, it looks right. It's all it's all indented, like this one is. We have their quotes. Let's go ahead and let's validate this. So control copy. We'll go here. And we'll validate. Just to make sure we're on the right track. And if we get any issues, we should go ahead and fix them now. Uh, nothing like coffee in the morning. So, I don't know why it's taking so long. Actually, sometimes th this does happen. I don't know if it's their servers that get hit a lot and it takes a while, or that I've used it so much that it's throttling my connection down. I'm not 100% sure, but everything, everything looks good so far. It says it's passed. So, we did all that. So, let's give it that nice little italics look. So, we're going to use the emphasis tag again here. So, emphasis. Um, the same thing here and here. All 
also here. And so all this will have the uh, that italics type look to it. We'll come back. We'll hit refresh. There we go. It's starting to look a little bit better. Okay, so we got that, that, and that, and that. What else do we need to do? We need to. How about we break it up a little bit? So we'll use um, the horizontal rule that we learned. Oops, not period. And uh, we'll see. We'll set this width to 50%. And make it a little bit thicker. Of a, we'll say size 2. Also, we'll align it uh, da, 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 left. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm going to do this for all of them. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing. Copy. And let's see. Hey, Quentin, caps locks. I'd be all right. So that's underlined. That's underlined. Yeah, let's make the last one underlined as well, too. Why not? We'll save this. We'll hit refresh. There you go. So it's starting to look a little better. Well, I guess I don't have a third row on mine, but that's fine. So we will... Select all, copy. Let's, let's go ahead and check this before we get too much further. We're in, we're almost done as well. This is going fairly quick. And the longest part is actually the validating so far, it seems like. There it goes. And everything looks good. Oops. And I think the last thing we. Oh, we got to put authorship. It's always good to put down the authors of who wrote what, where, and how. So let's. I'm going to keep these bunched together just so I know who goes with who. Pre and I'm not even sure where to go, so I'm going to stop, but maybe there for right now. I'm going to use the tilde key. And Edmund, and you, no, M U D N D. I think it's Blake's his name. And. Do, 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 do. This pre tag would go here. and I'll just kind of eyeball it with this one so it should line up about the same this is Lao I don't even know how to pronounce the last one Zhu to Zhu I don't know I refresh yeah that looks pretty good it's pretty close to this I guess I pushed that down a little bit and that's let's see cumber spaces so we'll say oops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Eleven. Let's see. There you go. That looks a little bit better. So that would be project two. We kind of incorporated the H ones, H two, H three, the block quotes, emphasis, horizontal rules, block quotes, and the pre tags to make a pretty interesting little web page. I mean, it's not horrible. I can see some use for this later on down the road. All this is just practice, practice, practice. All right. I appreciate you guys. I really do. Um, make sure you subscribe, share it with other people. You can follow me on Twitter. My um, and my website is jeremylincoln.weebly.com. Um, um, if you have any questions, go ahead, send them my way. You guys have a great day. See ya. Hey, welcome back. My name is Jeremy, and we're on intro number six, I believe. And this one should be. Well, this could be a little tricky. Depends. Like this one has kind of interesting stuff you can do with it. Anyways, today we're going to talk about the uh, horizontal rule. Basically, what that is is just a line that kind of draws across the screen. Now, like I said before, in some previous videos, that there's a few standalone tags, and standalone tags don't have a matching pair. So it doesn't have an end and a beginning. It's just by itself. So I'm just going ahead and I'm going to type this out, and it's just hr. So I always put a space in there, slash. I've seen with or without, but I like putting a slash in there. Okay, so that being said, I said there's a few things we can actually control. We can, can control the width of um, how wide the or yeah how wide the um, the line's going to be. So we can leave alone to be the full uh, width of the screen. We can do it, you know, ten percent, five percent, eighty percent, whatever you want. We can also align it so well, that basically we made it small. So say we made it like ten percent of the screen. We can say, okay, well, I want you off to the left, or I want you right in the middle, or to the right even. 
and then size is another one that will show thickness how thick the um, line is going to be in the 30 in, in pixels so you don't have to do anything special with it I'm uh, sorry enjoying my cup of coffee as well so here we go let's um looks like all of them we're gonna start with an H1 and I break thinking oh come on be, uh, be original well welcome to the HR club if I can, okay my dad might be original <laughs> anyways we're gonna make a, um, a couple paragraphs control I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna highlight it control C for copy and paste we'll do um let's do, this. let's do four there we go so we'll say paragraph one and this really doesn't matter you make up anything you want I'm not trying to be too fancy with this because the paragraphs aren't really the um, the lesson here. I just we just kind of need something. Okay, put a couple spaces. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the HR rule here, and like I said, this is going to draw a line. And to show you what I'm talking about, we'll hit refresh, and you see this line right here goes all the way across, uh, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So. What I want to do is we're going to play around with the aligning and the thickness and all that good stuff. So that's a full, and we'll use one more down here. Oops. Okay, so this one right here, we'll change the size of it. Let's make it um, size equals, I don't know, let's see what six looks like. We'll save it, we'll hit refresh. That's kind of thick. It has a weird little drop back to it, but it's kind of thick. But I don't like it going all the way across. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll let it go all the way across. Actually, no, we won't. <laughs> Sorry. We'll say width equals um, 50%. There we go. And this one will say width equals 10%. Oops. There's no space. We'll say that. You see how it automatically puts it right in the middle of the page, which is fine, but I don't want this one in the middle. I'm being picky. I want this to blind to the left. So we just pushed all the way over to the left side of the page itself. Oops, did I save it? I did not. Let's try this again. There we go. Let's see, horizontal rules can be fun. <laughs> they're, they're, they're definitely interesting. So this one, I'm going to do all of them. So I'm going to say size equals uh, 2 and width equals, let's do 75% uh, of the screen and um, we're going to align this to the right. Let's be daring. And let's spell it right. And oh, from my other quote, save this. We'll hit refresh. And maybe 75% is too big. Let's do 55. Hmm, why does it look, don't look right? HR size 55%. Let's do 25. Save and refresh. I might know if I spell with right. There we go. So now it's way over there. Just crazy looking. Alright, like I said before, when we get done, control copy. We should probably check it. Actually, you should probably should check before you actually finish it all. And just save yourself a lot of headache. So we'll check it. I got seven errors. Awesome. So, what are they? Size attribute, HR is obsolete, use CSS. It's technically true, you probably should, plus I'm using HTML5, so that's probably giving me the error. Um, Alright, pause the video for a quick second. The only way to really get this to work correctly is 
if you change this whole dock type up here, I'll have this up there as well. You can use this dock type. There's nothing wrong with this dock type. Like I said, I just didn't feel like trying to copy and paste all this all the time. Your HTML5 would be a little bit easier. But I might have to jump back and forth between dock types to get it to validate correctly. I know this is just confusing. Maybe I can come up with a happy medium, and when I do, I'll let everybody know. Um, until then, um, like I said, I'll have, the, I'll have all, the, all the source codes up in my, actually I'll copy it now so I don't forget. I'll put up on the forums, you can copy and paste this as well. Um, yeah, again, like, like the video, share the video, um, leave comments, ask questions, you guys have a great day.